Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I am back with some more classic uh, baseball cards. Wanted to share something with you. It's just a short one here. In my Christmas stocking this year, uh, my good friend Polly Pax had slipped in a little surprise for me. And uh, here it is. It is the 1984 Midland Cubs team set. So we're going to open this up. Now, you might be wondering, why would anyone want the 1984 Midland Cubs team set? Well, you're going to find out. Anybody who follows this channel knows who my favorite player to collect is from when I was a kid. It's not Joe Henderson, not Antonio Cordova, not Don Hyman, Jim Bordeaux, or Boudreaux. Sorry. Sorry, Jim. Jim Boudreaux. Not John Huey, not Jorge Capio, Carpio, not Joe Housey. Or Daryl Banks. Good thing it's not Daryl Banks because that one's a little rough. Uh, not Ray Soff. Mike Capel. Jeff Moscarit. Doug Potestio. None of these guys made the bigs. Dennis Bronia, who is the trainer. He always got to have the trainer's card in these minor league card sets. It's so funny. Uh, not Glenn Gregson, who's the coach. Not George Enright, the manager. Not Darren Jackson. He might have made the bigs. Uh, not Danny Norman, Danny Norman, not Ricky Baker, not Jim Otten, or Jeff Jones, Paul Nochi. It's Sean Dunstan, and there it is. Gary Varsho and Tony Woods round us out, but there it is. Sean Dunstan, the earliest Sean Dunstan card that I now have in my collection. I've had my eye on this for a long, long time. Just never pulled the trigger, and that Polypax came through and made it happen. So, official minor league photo fact card from TCMA, 1984 Midland Cubs in the Texas League, Sean Dunstan, the shortstop. This is right before he made his debut with the uh, Chicago Cubs and stayed with them for about 10 years. Um, so there it is. Look, so looking forward to adding this to my collection. Thank you, Polly Pax, and Merry Christmas to me. Uh, as an additional piece here, it also in my stocking was one single repacked wax. You guys know I love this, uh, this uh, repackaging company, so... Let's see if we can get any special magic here in this single repacked wax pack. Starting off with 91 Fleer is a great sign. Super exciting. Luis Quinones. Oh, but then look. Oh, there's a Bill Picotta, 1989 Fleer. But look, a Felipe Alou, 1968 Tops. That is awesome. Beautiful condition. Off-centered, certainly, but what a nice card. Uh, Doug Desensis, 1978 Tops. That's cool. Sid Fernandez, 87 Fleer, Tony Perez, 1981 Fleer for Red Sox, this 1986 Donner, Scott Bradley, a Bob Wolcott, 1996 Tops, I think, yeah, 96 Tops, Harvey Pulliam, there's a Tom Ver Verizer, 1979, uh, Randy Johnson, not that Randy Johnson, 84 Donruss, there's a Bobby Mercer, 83 Tops, longtime Yankee. Vance Law, 89 Upper Deck. Ron Darling, 85 Donruss. Second year card for him. I think it's the second year. Maybe he doesn't have an 84 Donruss, though. I think, actually, this is, what, this is going to be a Ron Darling rookie. Uh, the Texas And the Texas Rangers from 2022 tops. So there you have it. There's a repacked wax pack for you. Nothing crazy good, but I think the best one in there was definitely the 68 Felipe Alou. Very cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll see you next time.